Now, this is a brooch, but it's also two dress clips that are mounted on this bar right here. Hey, it's Nisha, and it's time for another rummage sale jewelry haul. Okay. Nice modern piece. I like the hammered look on the pendant. And then you have the round chain. It has a lobster claw, which could be from 1950s to now. And with the way the extension chain here looks, that makes it more of a modern piece. Okay. Looks like we got some enameling on this bracelet. I like the design. Look at that. That's pretty. Very right, cool. Oh, that's great. It's a nice statement piece. Multi-strand chain or loop. I would really call this a chain. I mean, if you have a different term for it, I would love to know what you think. And then it has this nice box clasp. Look at the design on that. That looks vintage to me. Sometimes there might be a manufacturer's mark on here or might say pat patent pending. You can look up the date, patent pending, the number there and see when it was, the patent was created. Just do a little wiggle. Ah, there it goes. A little snug, but that's fine. Sometimes there might be information in here too. Really great piece. Take a closer look. Plastic beads. Cool. Oh yeah, I love this design. Great. Look at uh, this is the Greek key design. You'll see this all over the place on everything. And then this is definitely vintage. It has a fold over clasp. So it's adjustable. Some mesh construction. There's no information on the clasp. Great, great piece. Now, I sell my jewelry and other items on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and sometimes Etsy, depending on if it's vintage or not. So just looking at this piece, it looks vintage. This will definitely go on all four of those platforms. And I do this using a service called uh, List Perfectly. If you want to learn more, I do have a video in the description below that will give you uh, more information about that. Now this is really pretty gold tone chain. Looks like 1970s. I'll show you the clasp on that. And it's in good condition. Sometimes there's a lot of wearing on the gold tone plating, which is the coating on top of the metal underneath. Oh yeah, this is really nice. I love this heavy chain with these beaded sections. So let's take a closer look. All right, so it looks like rhinestone. This is plastic right here. Okay, that looks good. And the chain is in good condition. Ah. Sometimes there is information on the clasp or even on this section right here. 
let's see, I'm not seeing, okay, I'm seeing something right here. Let's see if we can use our loop to take a closer look. There we go. Now I'll take a look for myself. Hmm. Uh, M-I-K-O. So that's a new one on me. I got it because it was a really nice construction. So I will have to research that one. Okay, this is really pretty. It's a rhinestone bracelet with a safety chain. Safety chains are always a good thing to look out for. They're put on jewelry that's more valuable, sometimes vintage pieces. It's a wonderful look. Okay, so let's take a look at this clasp. Now, on vintage pieces, sometimes you'll have this darkening of the rhinestones. That does happen. Let's look on the back. There is a mane here. Oh, yes. <laughs> One of my favorites. Uh, Weiss or Wes. I don't know. I need to learn how to pronounce that. So let's see. Okay. So that's a great brand. Uh, let's look at the... Um, see how it opens. Yep. Great piece. It's definitely vintage between the clasp and the signature and the construction. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? I love finding brooches with either whimsical images or animals. It has rhinestones in the uh, for the eyes. And on the back, there is some textures, but no signature. And just looking at the construction, it does not look vintage. It's a modern piece, but very pretty. I love the color of the beads on this necklace. It's between like yellow and yellow green wow look at that that would just pop against certain color clothing depending on what you're wearing wow it's just gorgeous this is definitely vintage you have this beautiful um box clasp even though it's not a box and we do have a signature on here so let's see what it says aha <laughs> Okay, so it said patent pending. There's no um, date, though, so that doesn't help us date it that way. So let's open it up. There's no information on there. That's okay. Now, I want to see if some of these beads might be made from glass, so I just do a skin test. Glass is cool to the touch. And stone is cold to the touch. Glass will warm up rather quickly, a matter of a couple seconds. So this feels like glass. And if we look at it closely, it has these beautiful pieces of other like gold tone flakes on the inside. See how they're iridescent? Isn't that great? So that shows me that that's gold too. But these sections right here, this is feels like some type of um, plastic. It could be lucite. A stunning piece. I mean, I might say it's from the 1930s, but I would have to do some research. Oh yeah, this had that really nice design uh, on the, the bracelet. Or a bangle. Oh, and this one was hinged. So let's see. Where is the oops? <laughs> oh, here it is. So there's a little button here. And I'm just gonna it's harder when I can't put it on the table. Okay, put it on the table. So that's what it looks like once it opens up, and then you can place it on your arm. 
So that's another sign of a quality piece. I'll snap it back. Isn't that great? And this type of work here, where it is, part of it looks like it's higher up than the rest of it, is called repousse. And what they do is they take a soft metal and hammer it onto a pattern. And the pattern is on a harder metal. Um, so the softer metal bends over the pattern and creates um, pieces like this. Ah, okay, let's see who we have. Oh, it's too bad. Okay, so these are vintage uh, Napier. So I'll show you with the... But it has, this is Napier, so it has, but has heavy damage here on the earring. So I don't think... Um, I would feel comfortable selling that. I don't think somebody would um, enjoy wearing that. So that will go into a craft lot. Okay, so this is a Maltese cross, and you'll find this design in modern pieces, vintage pieces, and antiques. So really look for this type of design. So we're looking for how it's a square shape and then it comes out in these triangles on each uh, side of the square. Now, looking at the, the piece that we have, it's a brooch. And it does have a fair amount of wearing on the gold tone plating, especially through here. And these are uh, imitation pearl, and I would call them uh, broke, baroque, B-A-R-Q-U-E, I believe. Um, and just because of the size of them. And it looks like it's Janine, Jan. I'm not familiar with this brand. Okay. So it's definitely vintage. And then we have... Um, you know, the tip of the brooch sticking out, uh, not the brooch, the tip of the uh, bar sticking out. So it's another indicator that it's um, vintage. It does look kind of 1980s. I'll have to do some research and see, um, learn about the brand. Okay, fun. Ah, Bumblebee. <laughs> So lots of designers have made insect brooches or pins. So if they're in good condition or if they're by a good designer, I love to pick them up. This one it looks all there. Okay, so I'm looking at the back. It looks like maybe 1970s. It's cute. <laughs> for anybody who has a black cat. <laughs> All right. Oh, fun. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. I love all the different beads and the color. And it looks to be more of a modern piece because we talked about the extension chain and the lobster claw. Uh, let's take a closer look. I really like the construction and then this, these are little sequins that they added. Uh, that would re look really nice uh, at a party. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this one had a safety chain, too. Uh, I like the large links. So those are the individual sections of the chain. And let's take a closer look. It looks like there's writing on the this section right here. So let's take a look. Oh, 
Okay, so it says 1 slash 20, 12 carat, or 12K. So what that means is it's gold filled. So gold filled has to do with plating, and it's a heavier type of plating with the gold rather than normal plating. It doesn't mean that it's solid gold. It's just a gold on the outside of the piece. So it's kind of a misnomer. And for this type of jewelry, it doesn't really have much value in the sense of the fine material of gold being used. Uh, it would only have value in it if somebody wanted the design or if it had a certain brand. But this is a nice piece. I think somebody would enjoy it. Oh, fun. Nice. Look at that. Okay, I like the different types of chains in here. Okay, nothing on the box class. We have a theme today, I think. <laughs> Chains and class, box class. Okay, looks good. All right, great vintage piece. Not sure quite of a date though. All right. Ah, okay, fun. Okay, this is great. This is glass and glass beads with a, a silver tone chain. Again, a modern piece with that extension chain. Very pretty. Take a closer look. Oh yeah, this has a really nice design to the flower. I like the way they did, is this enameling on it? I'm not quite sure what this is right here, but I like the uh, way they designed the flower. There is a name on here, so let's take a look. And I am not familiar with that brand. Okay, so I will need to do some research, okay. All right, so it's Cerrito or Cerrito, C E R or I T O. Okay. Okay. So I like the small beads. And then you'll see this construction of the looping of the metal with the other sections. This is a sign that the piece is vintage. They used this construction a lot in the 1950s. Um, and then a lot of the reproductions that have been used to create the um, vintage style pieces that are being created now use the same construction. So if you can become familiar with that and know what that looks like, uh, that will help you uh, identify both modern and vintage pieces. Uh, and then I'm looking at the clasp. It does look vintage to me. All right, cool. <laughs> that is so funny. I was talking about that construction. Now we have the same type of construction, but this is a modern piece. So let's look at this one. Okay, so the metal is more precisely done than the vintage piece. And then if we look at the clasp, it's one of those, oh gosh, how do those work? Ah, oh, it's a snap. That's right, it's a snap. And even the quality of the metal has a different look to it. Ooh, this is fun, look at that. 
Ooh, nice statement piece. Wow. Okay, wow, okay. Wow, that's really small. That is definitely a collar necklace. 12 to 14 inches. All right, so let's take a closer look. Does have a hang tag. Oh, who is it? Um, ooh! Whoa! Woohoo! Okay, we have Kramer of New York. Yay! Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't find these pieces very often. Wow, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh. I mean, it looks like it's from the 1950s with the uh, construction, um, but I'll do some research. It has the hook and then the extension chain on here. I'll show you the hook because that's Mark Kramer too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What a wonderful treat. Oh, wow. All right, let's see what else we have in the bag. <laughs> oh, lots of surprises today. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Now, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Tear-shaped pendant. Yeah, it feels like plastic with the Omega chain. And let's show you uh, what the different parts look like. So that's the Omega chain has a kind of a sleek modern look to it even though this is a vintage piece so let's look at the back here and it looks like oh we, <laughs> we have a crown trafari all right so i'll show you that to you so there's a crown shape on top of the capital t now it does have the copyright symbol so this is from the 1950s through the 1960s I don't have the exact dates but um, if you can find the the crown trafari it's very desirable and and especially the the older stuff too um, from the um, I believe it's the 1930s is very desirable because the designer Alfred Philippe created uh, the designs from that time period and he went and uh, worked for I think it was Cartier all right so let's look at the hang tag so it's a T so that puzzles me because the pendant says crown trafari and the hang tag for crown trafari is a T with a crown shape on the top hmm Oh, these are fun. They do have some wearing on the gold tone beads, but they're older. Do they have a brand? No, this is kind of the similar to Miriam Haskell, but it's not the same. All right. Take a look. Oh, let's see what these are. Oh, these are door knocker earrings. Those are fabulous. These are vintage with the enameling. Oh, wow. Those are great. Um, let me see if they're signed. Uh, let's see. That's on the inside. Sometimes they might have a signature in here or over here. I'm not seeing one. Okay. That's fabulous, though. Okay. Oh, this is really, really, really pretty. Look at that. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Let's take a close look. Now, this is a brooch, but it's also two dress clips that are mounted on this bar right here. Um, I think it might be Quora, but I don't see the manufacturer's mark. So... I'm going to try to take the dress clips off um, this bar. They're mounted. They're not mounted. They're slid into this bar section right here. So we're going to slide them out. So let's see. Okay, that's one. 
So this is from the 1940s, 1930s. And see, this is the bar that they were mounted on, which acts as a brooch. Isn't that great? Okay, here's the dress clips. You'll see these worn by movie stars in the 1930s. They'll be clipped onto their dresses. So let's look at the back. Okay, no manufacturer's mark. If they were Coro, they would have been marked. So let me see if they're marked on the inside. So that's what they look like here. I'm a little bummed. I don't see the Coro mark. And they're still vintage. And they're still gorgeous. All right, let's take that out. Let's look at the other one. All right, cool. All right, and there you go. It's a dress clip and a brooch. Mm, fun. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Lists Perfectly, in the description below, there is a link to a video that will give you more information. If you'd like to try List Perfectly for yourself, I have a link for 30% off your first month. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and then hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future.